You know, there is a IP in the world of movies, a franchise, that elicits great smiles and memories and also great sadness and disappointment at the same time. And, and that would be Predator. Because, you know, you think of Predator, all I can see in my head is the tobacco-chewing face of one Jesse the Body Ventura saying, I ain't got time to bleed. Mm. All sorts of goodness in Predator, right? But then you think about Predator... And you also think of the most recent, really disappointing offering from Shane the Black, Predator. a filmmaker I love yeah. very, very much. Yep. And I was excited about that Predator. Not so much. I think it's safe to say Predator has never been able to get back to the glory of the first film. But they keep trying. God bless them, they keep trying. And then there was the one with the guy who started as the pianist. Uh, yeah, Predators. Yeah, the, Predators. The, the one where the Robert Rodriguez world, boys. Right? Yeah. That that one was actually pretty was good. Pretty good. I liked it. Yeah, I dug that one. I mean, nowhere near as much as the first one, but I love that one. Now we've heard that there is another Predator movie coming, and we've known about this. It was going to be set sometime in the past. Now, though, we know officially when it's happening. The new Predator movie is going to be taking place in the year seventeen nineteen. Now, this comes to us from the folks over at Joe Blow, recording the head from Fox, who said this. In order to meet the volume that we are looking at, which is by 2023, having 10 plus movies just for Hulu, they're saying just for streaming, but I believe Fox is dedicated to making 10 dedicated movies a year for Hulu or one of the other streaming platforms they have. It's going to be a combination of originals in those genres, comedy, thriller, young adult, horror, and coolest and coolest of all for fans we get to find bold takes on beloved fox properties you can take a big crate you can take big creative swings which you'll see with prey that's the name of the new predator movie we talked about this before prey which will launch this summer a predator movie set in the great plains in 1719 by dan trackenberg who i always i'm convinced i'm mispronouncing his name uh that's what this movie allows us to do now, they before they had already said that kind of an idea about this movie is uh, Naru, a skilled female warrior who fiercely protects her tribe against a highly evolved alien predator. So you're going back to that. Now, this, in some ways, this isn't brand new news. We knew this one was going to be taking place sometime in the past. We knew it was going to be taking place with the Native American tribe and stuff like that. But now we know the specific date. Frank, I honestly, I heard 300 years before. I honestly didn't, I still didn't think they were going to go that far back. And I am torn about this because part of me on one hand thinks cool new predator. Also part of me thinks cool putting a predator in an environment we haven't really seen done before other than predators that took place on another planet. It, it's always generally be, been, but even that was like another planet's jungle. Yeah. It was still, it's just another jungle, right? So this is going to be a completely different context for a Predator movie, and I appreciate they're doing that. I do. I think, that, cool, take a swing. However, taking on a Predator was nearly impossible with modern weaponry. <laughs> and Jesse the Body Ventura with old Painless and whatever weapon that is that, uh, that Arnold Schwarzenegger is unloading at it, that was hard enough. With with the weaponry that they're going to have in that time period, I got to wonder. I mean, of course, the predators are sporting individuals. They like to keep things fair, right? So maybe they'll they'll not bring any of their technology. Maybe they won't bring any of their own weaponry. Maybe they're just going to go straight hand to hand combat. I don't know. They're going to come up with something. I'm I'm at least intrigued by this. Far more intrigued than I am by a new alien, to be honest with you. At this point, so I'm still I'm intrigued by this. But some question marks, you know, it's it's going to be made strictly for streaming. It's not going to be, it's not being designed or financed as a theatrical release. So, yeah, at this point, I won't say I'm super excited, but I am intrigued. Rob, you were getting some details now about this new Predator thing. Where are you at on this? Well, it makes me think about my favorite bit in any Predator movie, which is, of course, in Aliens versus Predator Requiem. And if you remember that, it's not a great movie, John, but at the beginning, <laughs> the beginning, it, w when some shenanigans from the previous film spill over and cause a problem, you cut to the Predator homeworld, and you actually see right. a Predator kind of at work. You know, he's in like a building somewhere, and he sees a blinking light like, oh, there's a problem on, our, on Earth, and he basically has to pack up and go solve this problem. 
Well, once you've seen the predators have their own urban environments, it leads me to want to ask the question, do they watch sitcoms? And are there predators that star in those sitcoms? Because there must be. <laughs> and and like there's got there's a whole world. Like this dude was this predator was at his job. We actually saw a predator doing his job and he has to go solve a problem. I want to see that area of the predators' lives explored because all we've ever seen is weekend hunts. These guys just go out on these weekend hunts. I mean, they've got to be there's got to be a whole more to that lifestyle than if you're a predator, you got to do more. And I think if they're going to make an ongoing predator series, I would like to see a day in the life of. Let's see the Friday night lights of the predators. <laughs> Young you know, predators trying to make it as their version of a football player. In uh, that, college. I mean, why shouldn't we? Why do we can't only? Lose. I mean, I think it's really <laughs> selling the predator race short. That all we ever learn about them is the weekend hunts that the good old boys go on. I mean, that'd be like, that'd be like. Can you imagine if you just watch TV shows about, uh, you know, guys in like Alabama going to hunt for the weekend? How exciting would that be? Very exciting to those guys. I guess oh, it would yeah. be. I mean, I just I want to see more. I, I, you know, it's interesting that they're going to go go to the Great Plains in 1787 and fight somebody. I mean, how fair is that? If you're a predator, you come from an alien planet with alien technology and you're fighting primitive natives? Anybody could do that. No no less fair than us walking into the forest with shotguns shoot, shooting things that aren't there. At least. Don't, they can't fight well, back. Well, at least we eat them. Yeah, that's true. Yep. You know, what does the predator who's do? who's to say they won't? I, I just to say twist. they won't? That's true. I just want to see more domestic predator dramas. <laughs> And I'm not kidding. Does Predator have their own Batman? They must. Predator, I mean, the, the Predator Batman. I want to see, see that the movie. Predator Back to the Future. <laughs> anyway, Chris, you're hearing about this. Do you have Do you have any excitement for this? Maybe a lot, maybe not. I don't know. What are you thinking? No. No. <laughs> and I'm like you too. If like if I want more alien stuff, I just play Alien Isolation. That game is terrifying. It's so fun. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. Predator, for for why 1719? Like historically, what makes that year so interesting? Because I, the only thing I can think of is we, the Spanish gave Pensacola to the French around then, so that's not even <laughs> in the Great Plains. But also, this just feels like a movie where there's a lot of room for big mistakes of poorly portraying indigenous people. And I would love more representation for indigenous people in all forms of media, especially sci-fi. But this seems like there's going to have so much room for so much to go wrong. And I, I especially just, for the predator. <laughs> especially for the predator. By the way, I have to just shout this out. Dad boy twenty two uh, in the live chat says, "Predators got talent." There and we there's go. There's your TV show for you. Predators I'd watch got that. Talent. That seems more interesting. This I just don't. I don't know why they're doing it as a uh, as opposed to them just like spinning a wheel and being like, "Yeah, seven nineteen. Why not?" But uh, we'll find out soon. We'll find out soon if it works. And our question is for you guys. What do you think about this? The next Predator film, which will, I think will be on Hulu, I think that's where it's going, will be taking place in the year of 1719. I, hey, it's something different. They've never done this before, really, with the Predator franchise, but maybe that's not enough. How are you guys feeling about it? Jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts.